Hello everyone, you're very welcome. Thanks very much for dropping by. Here we go again, more messing around in the shed. Okay, so I've made a new burner. Uh, this is a new waste oil burner based on the the, uh, the last one I did. So what we've got is, this is six inches high from base to top, six inches. And this uh, thing with all the holes in it, it's just an 80 mil box and it's about nine and a half inches high. Okay, nine inch diameter thereabouts. Um, I'm gonna show you inside it now. Okay, so that's it. And the, the holes on the bottom, so there's, three, there's uh, three holes, and there's one, two, three, four, five rows of three. Or three rows of five, whatever. So uh, there we go, look. Capped on top. Now, the idea behind it is very simple. Okay, so it's rough enough underneath. Air goes up here. I've just made it. Air goes in here and gets pulled out of these holes hopefully by the fire inside so I'm just prototyping this this is just some flat steel I had and I just you know made it round and, uh, so it was a 24 inch piece it stopped here and I just cut a piece stuck it in welded up the sides this could be a pot or whatever but the thing is I needed this to be sealed to the bottom so originally I had cut it so that I could do um, put a round tube through it, but I hadn't got enough round tube. I had some box iron um, from the back of the original Minion, um, actual stall 100. So I just cut a, a chunk of uh, box section, threw some holes in it. I'm only guessing how many holes. So uh, there we go, I'm going to light it now. Okay, I'm going to light this and throw it into the fire. Okay, just let it go first. Yeah, it's going okay now. Right. So remember, it's getting a tear up to the bottom. Now, nothing happens until it gets hot enough to do something. I cleaned one of the eyes. <laughs> Guess which eye I cleaned. Okay, so considering I'm using square section and not round section, uh, trial and error, guessing the size of the hole, and placement, and how many. Okay, so look. You can hear it boiling. <laughs> That's just vegetable oil now. The plan with this burner was to make it really deep, um, which was opposite to what I did with the other one. I made the other one shallow enough and uh, so that any smoke rising would catch, uh, you know, and form maybe a secondary burn chamber. Sort of, maybe a virtual one. This one, I wanted it more happening in the, in the little, um, the pot section, you know, the six inch pot section. And uh, looking in, that's what's happening. Now it's not red hot yet. You won't see any flames down here because the pot comes up to about comes up to about there. So different design. It's just it's got some uh, veggie oil in there at the minute, and uh, must have burnt off most of its kerosene, if not at all. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. Look, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but certainly I can see the the, uh, the air coming in getting burnt. Okay. Oh, I'm sure you can hear that. At the moment, I haven't got a, um, a drip pipe into it yet. I just want to see how it's working. I'm getting some vigorous action in there now, mixing and so on. I can see it. Can you see it? I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up.
Okay, so I've just checked outside and there's no smoke. Maybe we're onto something. Um, I don't know about the heat yet, and I'm not really driving for heat. Like in order to do that, I have to put um, a drip feed system into it. And as you can see up here, uh, there's no pipe going into anything. I have to alter it, or have to alter the, the holes, you know, the position. I need to come in through the side of the pot, I think. So I'll have a little think about that. I'll uh, I'll make something happen on that score, and I'm just gonna let it burn out as it is. But uh, so far, anyway, this is as I say, it's a different burner, and it seems to be working. Still some fuel left in it. Now, if I could, um, uh, there's lots of things I would change at the minute. But uh, that's just, I was dying to see it working, and um, it's doing it. The little bit of pipe I put, you know, going up this way, uh, with the brake disc on it, uh, might work, but I'd say it would want to be really hot to do it. Generally, it needs to be going about 20 minutes before I, I get big heat out. Okay, so it's looking very promising um, and we'll do more in the next video, we'll finish it off, I'll get the oil line in and um, we'll get it running on a drip system. So look, if you liked the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.